Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Total Sassy D for the 803. How you guys doing? Doing good, doing good, doing good. Y'all, so remember all things on this channel is alleged in my opinion. It is for learning, teaching, entertainment purposes only. So you guys, it's a lot of stuff going on on the internet. You know, it's, you know, Miss Doll Michelle and you know, things with Anthony Loftees. People are asking me my in, my take on it. Um, I choose to stay neutral and out of that, okay? That's my take on it. I feel like Dawn really explained her side of the story and of what she has done for Anthony. You know, Melody is always going to be my girl. I um, also, you know, I'm like Dawn, uh, when Mel does something wrong, y'all know I call Mel a lot because I love Mel, okay? <laughs> Let's just be clear. You know, if Mel do something questionable, I'm like, wait, sir, sissy, what's going on, sister? You know, uh, why you do that? And then nine times out of 10, Melody is gonna come back and she is going to explain what happened. I told you guys there are things that happened in Houston um, that, you know, I'm, I'm kind of guessing, but I don't wanna say anything about it because the show has to play out. That is not my business, but it, the show is my business. Mail is my business, okay? But anyway, uh, as long as mail is good, I'm good, okay? Um, I don't know if there were beef uh, between them two. Uh, he said it wasn't between him and Mel. It was just between him and Don. Don made it clear that, you know, she was mentoring Anthony. There were no uh, consensual contracts, okay? There, She doesn't do verbal contracts. And so... Um, you know, maybe the mentorship with the managership uh, got kind of construed, misconstrued. And, you know, um, but, you know, I love them both. And I just hope they can work through whatever issues they have and, um, and come to a truth. Okay, because he has tremendous talent. Dawn is always connected, you know, intertwined entangled in the business okay so she's always gonna have that um heads up um and everything so you know uh i just wish them both well i just don't like to see y'all old oh, folks you know disagreeing on things and tearing up relationships or things that they of that nature okay but anyway i'm gonna get off with that and y'all guys you guys can go to queen sheba she did an awesome interview as always she always does an interview her interviews very professional open-ended questions you know yes and no to the point point a matter of fact okay just the way i like it <laughs> But, you know, um, I'm glad there's a clearing up and hopefully they can have a conversation and they can um, get back on the same page. OK, um, so, you know, y'all, as we talk about Love and Marriage Huntsville, you got to remember Stormy is getting more bad reviews on um, TikTok. Oh, my gosh. People are so mad about the body glaze. I told you guys, I initially ordered the body glaze for my daughter, and when I initially ordered it, it melted in your hand, okay? Um, and it would just go on smoothly. This body glaze, my daughter ordered again, and she says she does not want it. So if um, she can bring it to me, uh, I will show you the difference that it was. Because a lot of you guys remember when the body glaze came out, you guys were, uh, I showed it to you. Um, but now it's thick. It is, oh, it's like thick old timey hair grease. Y'all, what is going on? Uh, and it doesn't have a smell. It smells like a drip or something. So no more ordering the body glaze for me. No more. Okay. Um, I am done with that. I will not be ordering anymore. Um, I just wish you would stick to what she knows and that's hair products. And that's it. <sighs> Leave the skincare to Mel. Okay. 
Um, by the way, Mel has a sale, Black Friday sale coming up, y'all. Uh, <laughs> Christmas gifts, body oil. Uh, I am definitely getting the whole package with the body oil and all that, because that body oil, ooh, how your legs shining like Melody's legs, okay? Um, and also, people are, you know, kind of looking at Nell and Chris side eye about their relationship with Melody. Listen, y'all, these are grown people. Uh, Chris and Nell are grown, mature. They're not teenagers, okay? They know how to pick and when to pick. They know what business to patronize. They were, you know, acquaintances before this show. You know, well, you know, during this show, because guess what? They patronize their business. They believe in patronizing black businesses. So, Mel and Nell are good. Nell and Mel are good. Let's just be clear. Um, just like Dawn and Mel are good. All right? Mel knows what she's doing. She's very talented. She's very, she has a lot of discernment. She's very particular and peculiar, okay, when it comes to things. So, Nell and Mel and Chris, I'm not looking at them sideways. I'm looking at them as uh, strategic businessmen and women. That's how I'm looking at them. And uh, I suggest that you, you guys do. You know, um, a lot of people say they're going to go against Mel. No, I don't think so. The one thing I say about this, and you got to think about it, and I think about the little things that Mel put out. Her and Nell had a conversation. And, you know, to let us know right then and there, hey, we solid. And Chris, he let us know, what you ain't going to do more so is talk about the hopes. That's what you're not going to do. And that, to me, that's enough to say, okay. They cool. They got it. They got an understanding. They understand the assignments. Okay. So you guys, I don't side eye them. I don't. I really don't. But anyway, you guys, I am here at work. I am. Uh, we'll see you guys tonight about six thirty. I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day. Uh, remember, it is Breast Cancer Awareness and Divide, uh, Domestic Violence Month. Please, whatever you do, uh, get help. Please remember to, if you see things that are not or feel things that are not right within your body, please make an appointment. Go get the uh, test. Early detection saves lives. Okay? Thank you, you guys. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Well, tonight. Tonight. About 6.30. Okay? All right. God bless. Bye, y'all.